Hi guys, I hope you're well and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to be um, doing a quick demo and like my first impressions of the Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation. So this is kind of like one of the newest additions to the Fenty Beauty family and um, because I heard that it was hydrating and lightweight, I was like, yeah, okay, I'm in. The, um, the original foundation is way too heavy for me, but I like this one and it really, really, that the packaging and the consistency when I first kind of like swatched it in store, um, is very similar to the YSL um, All in One Glow foundation that I use basically every day. So I just thought, actually, this seems really, really similar. Let me try it. So I swatched it on the shade 310 and it's just a really nice, like a creamy, but very, very lightweight formula, which is what I want. So let's go ahead and try it on my face. Right. Okay, so, so far I have prepped my skin. So I have got uh, my moisturizer, my whole skincare routine for the day, and put my SPF on, put my, and put my primer on. So now I'm gonna go in with this. New Fenty Beauty Hydrating Longwear Foundation. This is the shade 310, and this is actually the first time I'm using it. So it's gonna take a few pumps for me to get it out, I think. So I have just got one pump on the back of my hand. Let's just see how we go with that. So I'm gonna put one dot there, one dot there, one dot there, one on my nose. Already. I have a feeling one pump could be too much. I'm going to take my beauty blender and wet it a mirror and I'm just going to use my fingers to blend this in first. Oh, okay, it's not that bad, it's not too heavy. It's a nice shade though, it's like the perfect match for my skin tone so that was some Good colour matching I did in the store. So I'm just like roughly rubbing it in with my hands and then I'll go and blend it in properly with the beauty blender. Now I'm quite tired right now because I've just come back from holiday. So 310 in the winter might be a little bit dark but let's see. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender and really work that all into my skin. Because my brows are kind of done already, try to be a bit careful. And I do take my time working in any base product. This is actually the first time I'm ever using this, like I said, so so far I'm liking it. It's kind of just sinking into my skin, which is great. It's blending well. Seems like a kind of like good everyday foundation. It does just literally look like my skin, but better. Do you just love that saying? Touch of concealer under my eyes. And then set the concealer under my eyes. I haven't set my base yet, but as you can see, like it looks quite matte. It doesn't look overly shiny. So now I'm just gonna do my usual kind of like contour, blusher, all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to talk you through this because you've seen this a million times. So I'm just adding some cream blush, adding some cream contour. Always down my nose, always need it. contour. I'm 
really liking this base in the bigger mirror. I'm going to pad a little bit and I'm not going to use a setting pad, I'm just going to use this um, the Laura Mercier perfecting powder. So this kind of like takes away shine and adds in glow. So I don't really think we really need um, a lot of powder with this. So I'm really just lightly adding it because it kind of gives you a nice, it's not drying at all. I'm going to add some bronzer. Then just add some blusher. Just gonna add a touch of a highlight. So all in all, I'm actually my first impressions of this are that it's a great colour match especially for my skin at the moment in the summer. It is not too drying at all. I will need to see how after a couple of hours if it oxidises or not because I, um, that's why I didn't try the original Pro Filter Foundation just because I heard that it oxidises and I just want my base to look the same colour as it did when I put it on rather than this oxidising business and also it was just too too heavy for me whereas this one is actually really really lightweight it literally just feels like I'm wearing like my tinted everyday moisturiser that I do um, so yeah it's kind of it gives good coverage I guess you could build it up if you wanted to like you said like you saw I literally only just used one pump because I would not use more than that but I don't feel caked it's nice to kind of build other products on yeah it's a really nice finish I am loving it so I'm glad they came up with like a lighter lightweight kind of like more everyday wear foundation because that is what you need in life so this is the Fenty Beauty hydrating long wear foundation so it'll be interesting to also see how long it lasts I hope you enjoy this little demo tutorial and little review and thanks for watching